Hey there! In this video, we're going to be talking about setting up your USB audio interface. For this demo, I'm going to be using the Studio 24C. But you can also use these instructions for other hardware, like our audio box interfaces. Let's take a quick look at the hardware. On the front panel, we have our inputs and combo jacks. On the center panel, you will see the LED meters for your inputs and outputs. Then you have your gain knobs your 48 volt phantom power, and your main and headphone volume knobs. Here we have the mixer knob, which you can use to blend the incoming input signals with the computer audio to get a nice mix in your monitors. On the back panel, we have our headphone output, we have our main outputs left and right, we have our MIDI inputs and outputs, and our USB-C port. Also included with the interface are two USB cables, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and a USB-C to USB-A cable. Now, before we continue with our hardware setup, we have to go to our computer and take care of a few things. First, we have to register our products and download some necessary software. Go to mypersonus.com and log in to your MyPersonus account. If you do not have one yet, go ahead and create one. Once you're logged in, go and click on Register a Product. Here, just go ahead and enter all the necessary details. The serial number can be found at the bottom of the hardware or on the product box. After you register the serial number, go ahead and click on View Product, and this will take you to the product page where you can see all related software downloads. First, you'll need to download and install Universal Control. While you're here, you may also want to download and install the Studio and Artist that comes free with your hardware. After you've downloaded and installed all the necessary software, let's go back to our hardware setup. Now we can connect our Studio 24C to our computer. Connect one end of the USB-C cable to the interface and take the other end and connect it to your computer. Now let's go back to our computer and confirm the USB connection. Let's open Universal Control and here we can confirm our hardware connection. Here in Universal Control, you can also change a couple of settings. You can change the sample rate, clock source, block size, and turn on our loopback. You can use loopback to record audio coming from your desktop or to send audio into a stream. Take note though that loopback is a Windows only function. Now that we've confirmed our USB connection, we can now go back and continue our hardware connections. Before connecting any inputs or outputs, it's best to make sure that all volume knobs are turned down. Let's start with the back panel. Here, I'm going to connect a pair of HD9 headphones. And I simply connect that to the headphone out. I also have a pair of powered studio monitors, and I'll connect those to the main outputs. Now let's move on to the front panel. Here, I have an instrument cable for a guitar and an XLR cable for a microphone. If you are using a condenser microphone, make sure to turn on the 48 volt phantom power. Now turn the gain knobs up until you get a good input level signal. Now you can turn up your main and headphone volume and turn the mixer knob a little bit to the left to monitor your inputs. Now you're almost ready to record. Make sure to watch the next video where we discuss basic recording in Studio One. Thanks for watching.